So these are the basic gates which we are going to use throughout the subject. So every circuit which we are going to draw, we are only going to use these gates. So when uh, first is the buffer gate. So buffer gate is kind of a delay gate. For example, if you give something as an input, then it will produce some delay. For example, the delay can be one nanosecond or two nanosecond or ten nanoseconds, and then it is going to produce some output. So delay gate or you can say buffer gate is only used. to produce a delay in the circuit so sometimes what happens is if you want to manage synchronization between various circuits maybe uh, there's a circuit which is implemented at this side like this there's a circuit which is implemented at this side and then there's a circuit which is implemented at this side and then uh, if you are getting some delay in output from this side and this output is faster then you can use a buffer gate uh, on this side to create a delay in the circuit so buffer gate is only used to produce delay in the circuit and the not gate is used to produce the logical not or you can say a complement of a given function a uh, complement of given variable or a function so we already know what is a not gate and then see in the not gate this small bubble this small bubble represents a not so whenever in a buffer gate if you add a small buff bubble then it uh, denotes a not gate then we have and gate and gate you already know what is an and gate you have a nand gate you add a small bubble uh, in front of and gate then it becomes an and gate then you have an or gate and then you add a small bubble in front of or gate then it becomes an or gate you have an xor gate and you have an xnor gate i have already discussed the tables of these particular gates so we can create one gate uh, with the other gate the nand and nor gates are generally called as universal gates because you can design any other gate uh, you can represent any other gate by using nand and nor gate you don't actually need all these different kind of gates so generally what happens in market all these different kind of gates are not available only two gates are mostly used that they are nand gate and nor gate with just with the help of nand gate and nor gate you can uh, uh, denote other gates for example if you uh, use a nand gate like this this is a nand gate this is a nand gate and if you are giving out input like this this is a the a input in both the directions then what happens is this is this is assume x this is y and this is input a a x and y so if you give a the next and y both will receive 0 0 if you give a as 1 the next and y both will receive 1 uh, 1 and this is the output then in case of nand gate if you give 0 0 it gives 1 as output if you give 1 0 that gives 0 as output so you can see if you are giving the same input in both the direction the nand gate is acting as a not gate so if the question is how many nand gates are required to produce a not gate is it is only one so here i am presenting a table small table later on i will discuss how we can uh, create one gate from the other gate but let us see here i am presenting a small table which is denoting how many nand gates are required to create a not gate how many nand gates are required to create a and gate how many nand gates are required to create a or gate as well as how many nand gates are required to create a xor gate and xnor gate so we will discuss it uh, at a small let, let me take one more example here so uh, uh, the question is how many nand gates are required how many nand gates are required to create a and gate so what is an nand gate and what is an and gate so generally the equation of nand gate is f of a comma b nand gate can be represented by a dot p whole complement but if you do a complement of this if you do the complement of this function f of a comma b then you can represent a dot b whole complement complement which is equal to a dot b itself that means if you represent a nand gate like this this is a this is b and this is your nand gate if you add a not gate which is created using the nand gate now this circuit will be representing an and gate we are go going to need two nand gates to represent an and gate in the same way you can you are going to require three nand gates to represent a or gate how you can create an or gate generally what is the equation of or gate if i represent the function f of a comma b then or gate is represented by a plus b and what is the function presenting an and gate nand gate is f of a comma b is equal to a dot b whole complement so by using de morgan's law this can be denoted like this so a complement dot plus b complement now if you do a complement of a as well as if you do a complement of b then you can represent a or gate 
okay you have you have to individually do the complement so we'll see how you can create a or gate using an and gate and then we are going to see uh, what is an xor gate uh, how there are four nand gates are required to create an xor gate there are five uh, nand gates are required x xor gate in the same way uh, if you discuss about the nor gate then there are there's only one nor gate required to create a not gate there are three nor gates are required to create an and gate two nor gates are required to create or gate five uh, nor gates are required to create xor gate and four nor gates are required to create x nor gate how you can remember you can remember it like this 1 2 3 4 this is just like this 1 2 3 4 for this you just do this cross right you can do like this you can remember like this so we have not and or xor x nor so uh, how many nor gates are required 1 2 3 4 how many nor gates are required uh, it is 1 3 2 how One is one, one equal to one. So two is written here, three is written here, five is written here, and four is written here. So you can see how many uh, gates are required to create a given circuit. Okay. Now next to the degenerate form, when a two-level logic gate system output is expressed with a single logic gate, then two-level logic gate system is known as degenerate form or single logic gate. For example, in this case, this is a two-level logic gate, and this is an AND AND realization. This is a AND. and realization and and realization that means you are in the first level you are going to use and gates in the next level also we are going to use and gates so this and and realization is representing a function which is f is equal to a dot b dot c you can represent the same function by using a and gate with three inputs now this and gate is a degenerated form of this it is going to take three inputs and then it is going to produce a function which is f is equal to a dot b dot c so this kind is called as degenerative forms now let us take more examples and let us see how we create this table how we create this table how can you create or gate using nand gate how can you create an xor gate using nand gate and let us take more forms like for example how can you realize a given circuit uh, we have different kind of realizations realization means that uh, given a boolean expression or given a switching expression can you take this switching expression to make a uh, digital circuit so uh, implementing the switching expression to the digital circuit is called as realization so we have different kind of realizations like uh, one is and or realization second is or and realization and and realization and or or realization so let us see these different kinds of realization 